Hey guys, I miss you so much. I hope that you're doing okay at home. Um, I was thinking about something and there's a math game that we have played at school and I wanna show you guys how to play it again in case you forgot. So I'm gonna have some help from Mr. D. He's gonna be starring in our video today and we're gonna go through the game together so that you guys can play at home and practice too. So the game is about making different numbers and the first number i'm going to start with is six okay. so mr yes. d yes what do i need for this game so for this game you're going to need a cup okay and you're going to need some of those counters like we use in school the red and yellow ones the, re the two color counters yeah i don't you have those. math manipulators at my house so i actually don't have any of those counters at my house either so okay. i made some i used some paper oh, okay and all i did was i just cut a strip off mm -hmm. and i colored one side yellow okay and then i could color the other side i left mine white but you can color yours any two colors that you want so okay. pick two colors so i'm gonna get some two colors so i have a let's see i have like a blue and a green that's fine right Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna cut out little squares of paper. And um, how many do we need for this? How many squares? So for the first round, we're gonna make six. So okay. you're gonna need six counters. All right, so I am going to color one side blue, and then I will color the other side. You could leave it white, or I'm gonna just color it green. Okay, perfect. Okay, and now, I do a little magic. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of my counters. Okay. I'm okay. ready. So I have six also in my mm -hmm. hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them inside of my cup. Yep. So you're going to need a cup for this part. Okay. Put all six inside. And then you're going to shake, 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 shake. Ooh, I love this part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake and spill. So we're going to shake them up. And then when they're all mixed, we're going to spill them. So spill them in front of you. Okay. And then you're going to count how many you got of one color. You're going to separate them into both colors oh, and how yeah. many you got of your second color. Cool. I did that. I have my one color on one side and the other on the other. How many did you get? What combination did you get? Ms. So I got five white and one yellow. Yeah. So five and one. That's just like the that 10 frame. Sense. Five and one. That's six. Cool. Yeah. But, you know, everyone watching this video, I did not get six. I got, I did get six, but I didn't get five and one. I got what did you get? three blue and three green. Oh, oh three, three and three is and six. Three. Yep. Yes. Okay, so right. I should write this down somewhere? Yes, so I have my piece of paper that I cut my counters off of, and I'm going to use it to write down. Remember how we used to write number bonds? So yeah. I'm going to put a six at the top. Uh-huh with two lines coming okay. just like this. Yeah. I don't know if that's backwards. No, it's perfect. And then, okay, perfect. I'm gonna write the two numbers that I got. So I have five white. So I'm gonna put five on one side. Uh huh. And then I have one yellow. So I'm gonna write a one for the other spot. Oh, and just so you like, had six is five and one. And I'm yep, gonna write, so I can write six that is simple. Three and three. Yep. So I'm going to write this sentence. Six is five and one. Now, there's a lot of different ways to make six. Yeah. So do you think we could keep playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do one more time. Yeah. So, we, okay. We put all six of them back in our cup. Uh-huh. And then what do we do? Do you remember? Yeah. We shake it. This is our favorite part, right? We shake, shake, shake. And then spill. Spill. You get the same way or a different way? I got a different way. I got two white mm -hmm. and I got four yellow. Oh. So two and four make six. Yeah. And I got four and two, which is kind of like the same, just backwards. Okay. Yep. So, so we can write that down again. Four and two. Six is two and four, mm -hmm. or four and two. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
So now what we want every one of you guys at home to do is play this game with the materials you have. And then what should we do? How can we, how can they show it to us? What I would love is when you're done and you've made all the combinations you can of six, you could have your mom or dad or your family member take a picture of your work. Yeah. yeah. Nice and proud. Send it to me on Dojo like you have been with all of your work. And then maybe we could post everybody so everyone can see each other. Yeah, I miss everyone then, so much. Yeah, when you're done making six, you could even make another counter and play it with seven. Yeah, and that's when you're so done with fun. that, you could play it with eight with and eight. go as high as you want. Oh, yep, that's all the way fun. to ten. I'm awesome. Thank you, Mr. Board, for this activity. Yep. Of course. I hope you have pictures. fun playing. Oh, we will.